Happy Tuesday, everybody. I am in the mood to do some tulips, and um, I've really been liking these uh, Shinhan gouaches I've been using. So I'm just gonna use, these are drying up. I'd like to, to use them up. I could just pop them out of there and throw them away, but um, you know, I, they, they reactivate really nicely. So I thought what I would do is just do some real pretty kind of light coming from this direction tulips. And so um, I am gonna start by putting in, I may do this a little bit more detailed than usual. I'm gonna use a smaller brush, let's see. Not the real huge brush. And we're going to start, I think a lot of the problem that I see that people make with tulips um, is they do, they don't give them enough. They have this beautiful natural shape. Um, and people either make it just like a circle and they don't give it this nice little, the things that, that give the tulip their characteristics um, it, in the, the videos that I see or the some of the tutorials, some of the, you know, I kind of cruise around the internet probably like a lot of you do. Um, and so they make them just like the same exact shape and they're not really the same exact shape. Um, now let's see, I'm just going to kind of put in the shadows. I'm going to do kind of like I'm painting in, um, oils, which is darker to lighter. And what's nice with, with these gouache too, is you can layer them. Let's see. I might, I might bleed these colors in a little bit. Let's see. So we're doing, oh, let me show you my brushes. I've been asked the brushes. This is a Princeton snap brush, size six. And then these Utrecht synthetic brushes. I, I went out and bought less expensive brushes um, to use with gouache because they're very hard on your brushes. Uh, it's not like watercolors. And you do have to rinse them a little extra little extra thoroughly. Let's put a little bit lighter in here. Yeah. To add just some variety. You don't want one color inside where these, inside these cups um, where the sun is not uh, hitting directly. Let's see. I'm going to go in like this. Some nice dark and then it move in with some orange, leaving these petals. And what I will do is, I didn't take a picture of this to do. I've been wanting to take pictures so that I can, can provide um, a traceable. Um, let me know in the comments if this is something you'd like, because I, would be happy to take a picture and have it available like as a download for for you to be able to for those of you who are not into drawing and tracing and I'm I'm also not really into drawing as much as I'm into painting uh but would you be interested put drop a comment below if you would be interested in me uh giving you a digital download to to work from um so we've got some darks in here, some real pretty, drop a few more darks in here, drop a few more while it's still wet, darks in here. I'm liking that. And the last one here is up towards the top. It might not be as dark, but it is still a little darker in here. Let's see. These are, I love the, the peachy, corally um, tulips. I love almost all tulips. Um, and you know what? We can't can go all the way to the top because we can go up there with a bright hit of gouache. Let's see. Let's 
do this. I'm trying to leave the tops a little bit white so I don't have to fight it so much when I go back through. Let me get a little bit, maybe a lighter Naples yellow in here. And okay, so now we've got our shadowy areas. This also might be, let me add a little bit, a little bit of magenta to this. Kind of shadow this up a little bit. The sun coming down from here. And then also this would be shadowy. All right. Let's just drop some yellow into there. light. All right. So that's kind of a nice start to that. Maybe introduce some apricot in here. Might have been a lot of, let's see. Maybe I'll mix it in with the yellow. So now we're going to go with the um go a little lighter on the leaves the petals that are outside the cylinders here let's let's see we're going to go a little lighter and get some some yellow to drop in there And I kind of want, I want kind of a peachy. Let's see if I mix the orange and the apricot. Let me see if I'll get, oh yeah, that, that gives a nice kind of peachy color. I want that even a little lighter. Let me see. Got some, this is actually, Windsor and Newton white wash to mix in here because I want to lighten up this peach a little bit and not necessarily go for thin. I wanted to, let's, let's see, add a touch of peach to lighten that up and let's uh, da, 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 da. Put some peach in here. I've got to do some shadow on this side. That I didn't do. We're going to do a nice, bright, go like this, drop a little. Darken that up again. Um, let's see. Maybe mix some of the lighter into the darker here. That's a nice, nice little pop of that darker red. All right, and then let's see. This is kind of out in the sun. And now um, I'm going to even lighten that, showing that there might be a little, little sunlight coming through there. Give it a little, little hit of transparency at the top. And let's go back over here with. Because the sun's coming through here, kind of see that nice little look it gives there. And let's see, I'll deepen the inside here just a touch. And let's darken this up. 
under here. And let's get some, some orangey yellow in here. Maybe more yellow. With a touch of red down here. Bring these into the shadow a little bit. There. Bring it down here. And bring this down. All right, let's see. We are going to add some more. And these are not actually indicating enough sunlight. So we're going to go over some of these darker spots. Oh, my dog. The sound of my dog smacking our lips. Do you love it? Did you hear it? All right, let's bring this down. And when something's curving like this away from us, you want to soften the edges. It kind of tricks your eye. I should probably put the color behind it, but I'm just going to soften it. And see, then it, it appears to kind of round off there rather than... Um, being like a, a paper cutout. Uh, let's see. I'm going to come down here and soften this a little bit. And we're going to come in behind here. Let's see. With um, maybe I'll plunk some greenery in. Well, no, let me finish doing these peachy yellowy. Okay, this is going to be much lighter. Might even add a little, let's add a little pink to this just to kind of vary. You want to vary your colors a little bit. Okay, that's very pretty. I like it. Little touches of the peach in here and then I forgot to do a little bit darker. Let's, oh, See, this is a big mistake when you don't clean your brush and you dunk it right in there. I get kind of so into what I'm doing. This needs to be a little darker in here because it is in the shade or in the not in direct light. How about that? And I'm going to kind of just move this color around here a little bit. And... bit here make these kind of a, a riot of color all right now since the lights all coming in let's see this was a real um, pretty picture on Pinterest of these lots of wonderful wonderful um, reference photos of tulips just Google tulip photos to sit and you know to paint paint from i'm gonna start with the lighter color oh i love that we're just gonna kind of tulips have i should have done a lighter start really light on the um the stems here are always kind of yellow or almost always very yellowy and light in color they're not as as dark. Let me do one here as um, the leaves that come off them have a little bit more. Let's see. And I'm just gonna kind of. Mm, this is kind of a small brush to do the um, the big leaves at the bottom here with, but I'm actually not. I'm not unhappy with it, but while it's wet, I am going to plunk in a little bit of a darker green, especially now you don't want to be stuck with one, one green in your leaves. That never looks right because there's 
Otherwise, it looks like a cartoon. And this, I'm kind of want to soften that and let that run a little bit. And let's see. I'm going to use my bigger one to do. And you can even go like this and lift some of it out to give it a lighter, lighter color. Okay, so let's get back to these. Um, well, maybe I'll do one more, one more leaf coming up here around this tulip. This is my Utrecht flat number 10. And let's just get in here with these so that I can finish my tulips and not worry about I just went right into my tulip that I didn't want to hit. But you know what? I think I can go over it. Let's see. Let's see. I missed this little guy. Is going to come in front of here. I don't want to let that dry for a minute. Let's do the highlights at the top of these flowers. And what I want to do kind of a bright yellowy you don't want it to be solid white because these tulips are this peachy orange so I'm gonna go along the tops of here maybe even pull it down a little bit because they're getting this direct beautiful light let's see coming through from the top left part of the painting, part of the picture. Now this I might do in more of a yellowy, let's see. Doing a bright yellow on here. We want a little more yellow. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. It is allergy season. All right, so what I'm going to do here too is kind of drag this down. Um, so that it appears that, you know, there's some light shining through here. I'm going to do a little bit darker yellow under here. I love the layering capability of squ squash. <laughs> squash. Um, I love the way you can layer on top of this. And you can even, I know you can like reactivate the stuff underneath it, which is frustrating to some people. I don't really mind it um, because you can still do some, you can do some nice blends in here. Let's get, let's see if we just use a little water and blend these into each other. If we get, oh, I like, there I'm, Actually liking that a lot um, and to me that just has a little more movement a um, little more uh, you know not just a, a shapeless you know or every tulip shaped the same now let's go around the top of this one with a much lighter See, I don't want that to be. Let's see. Do this. And I want to get the, the tip tops of these tulips to have that beautiful sunlight coming through them. On the top of this, 
And it comes all the way around. All the way around this tulip. And this side will be having. Now that, let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit of bright yellow, kind of rinse or blend that into this a little bit. And some more peach. I love to bring out a little bit of the peachy apricot coloring in here. Like that. And bring in some darker orange. Now, I'm not liking, let me get a little, get a little pink darker in here and bring this down into here. And come around here. I'm going to brighten this up with, I wonder if I want to go with more of a, a yellow might. Now well, that brightens it up a little bit. Let's see about here too. brighter pull this in and maybe even like reactivate it a tad let's see yeah you can really blend these it does see it brings up it's nice it kind of blends into the color underneath it which i'm i'm really liking let's see bring this i want to bring a little bit more of this um shadow around here all right and let's see we're gonna go with let's go with a peachy peachy topper around let's see if I can get this to go over this green and get rid of it. Yeah, you can still see it a little, but I imagine I could layer around a couple of times and eliminate <laughs> that green that I went right over my flower with. See, I want to get a nice, maybe even um, let's do some bright yellow around to lighten that and a little peachy orangey down here let's see let's do a touch of it's kind of a dark orange but it should be here and here, kind of in the shadowy areas. I think I wanna lighten that up a little. Bring this one up here. Now they're really, I remember one of my teachers years ago 
said it's better to even overemphasize the shape of a flower, almost exaggerate it when you're doing flowers. Um, for the benefit of the viewer's eye doesn't always, um, it, for some reason, he said it helps to exaggerate the shape of a flower. And I have always found him to be right. When I've like, you know, there's barely a little dip in one of these petals. Um, when he would have me go in and overemphasize it, it just read better in looking at it in the viewer's eye. Um, so let's bring this up here. Bring these. Beautiful. The tops of these are kind of glowing with sunlight. And then looks like I dropped a thing of water here. Let's see about just tickling those into instead of having them. They are a bright highlight from the sun, but um it's also nice to kind of make that not such a, I don't want that to be such a distracting bright line, bright division there. Now let's see, I don't want to play with this too much. I'm kind of really happy with um, again, a touch of like a, pinky purple down here. Not a lot, but yeah, I'm liking that. Maybe just in a few spots. I'm getting some here. Help with that darker color. And maybe a little in here. There we go. So Let's see, is there anything, I don't know. Maybe we'll smooth out some of these. I, you don't wanna get rid of all the character lines that are in here, but some of the white space I'm not happy with. Let's see, and I would like some areas that are a little, bring out a little peach here, a little of my white, a little of my orange, where do I wanna? Some of these spots, I want to peach it up a little bit. Um, and let's see. That I shouldn't have put in there, but kind of brighten this up and let's see. Add a little peach in here. This I kind of, uh, it does go under into the shadow, but I think I over yellowed it a bit. There we go. Let's see. Now, I kind of want to, let's, um, Bring a little more red into here. This should be light. Let's see, because these are, I think I'll even mix. We'll put a little yellow in here. Not a lot. I'll we'll kind of orange it. Orange it up a little bit, because it's not... This isn't a solid red tulip, but there is warmer tones in the shadows. Oh, I'm liking that. Let's see. Add a little bit of dark. Make this line a little. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Keep this dark under here. Dark. Under here, these do dry out, um, get a little drier, a little quicker. 
Let's see. Mix this with maybe some of this. And okay, let's see. This should be a little darker down here. This doesn't make sense that there's light on the right hand bottom side of this. All right. So let's see. I'm going to do some of the real pretty. Interior, let's just see if this is dry enough to do. They're almost these greenish yellow dots in here. And there we go. And a few in here. And we have those beautiful centers. Maybe a few peeking up here and a few peeking up there. And, okay, I think I am going to go in behind this, which is a little crazy, but let me use a flatter brush to do that. I want, I don't know, do I want to do more, maybe a few more, maybe I'll do the background first and I think I love this color let's go in with a light purple because it's contrasting color to this orange and we'll just kind of and then my favorite periwinkle -y color let's see and I think I'm even going to want to drop some darker green in here. Let's see. That'll kind of look like um, greenery that was meant to be behind here. Let's see. Drop in a few of this green mixed with this. Uh, it just looks, I don't know, it feels so naked in here with all the white behind it. So let's do this. And a little bit here. Really accentuate the movement of these tulips you know the real pretty i have to go over that there we go i don't want to lose all those nice little dips and movements here so let's come around here oh okay let's keep this going up and let's get maybe in here with something a little darker under here a little darker I intended for this to be like a short quick video why do I even think that then I get started and I get I don't know if when you paint you get this way I get excited and I think oh this would look this would look better and it goes off, I go off on my whole little tangent. I could probably work on one painting forever. And it is nice um, with this medium that you can just kind of keep keep layering if if it's so if it strikes your fancy to do that. Let's do a little darker in here. There we go. It also gives you a chance you can kind of go over some of your mistakes. You can also make more mistakes by being careless and mushing into your... I'm liking that. Let's see. Do I want to interject? 
introduce another color or keep it with the purples. Maybe I'll keep it with the keep it with the purples in the background. Now that's neat. Watch watch how this here, watch how this moves in here. Do you see that? Love that. That is part of this um Shin Han gouache that I just really am loving. Here, I'll do it again for you. Um, I love the way, sounds like that song. I love the way you move. Do, do, do. I love the way this paint moves. It is so, so neat. Let's see, put a little green in here. Let's see if you just add some water. It really does run. I don't want to go into my flower. It really does run in a neat way. Let's see. Let's get back in here with a little more purple over here. Let's, and then I want to kind of gently go around this because I'm liking and let's kind of fix the top of this a little bit bring it up with a little bit more color and then down here let's see i'm gonna go in here with this And uh, let's see. I think I drop a little, a little bit of this in here. That might not be wet enough. Let's go. Something a little darker in here. Okay. Boop. And let's see. Come in here with my, it's Shin Han Hydrangea Blue. My name for it is Periwinkle, as you know. And let's see. Okay. We are getting close to done. I'm gonna come under here and maybe we'll come under there. We'll come under there with a little bit of light purple and then bring in some greens. Let's see. Really want to switch over to aqua right now, but let's do. I may not want to go so crazy with the greens over here, but I kind of just wanted to darken it up a little. Let's see, we'll back in with our deeper purple, maybe drop. A little bit of that up there. All right, guys, fellow painting buddies, are you thinking it's done? Should I stop? Ah, okay. I like it. I could go over it with pen. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I might just want to brighten. I don't know if I want to brighten this up with white or if I want to brighten it up with this real, maybe light, more of a light yellow. Let's see. And I could go, let's see. I don't want to hit it everywhere. Now this needs to definitely. Let me 
Let's see. Go over that. And this. Little sections of it. Let's here all right maybe we'll brighten a few of the tops of these like it's catching catching the light there all right let's see now I want I do just want to kind of tickle a few of those lines down not a lot brighter there definitely right here all right I'm, I I I'm liking this I don't know I like it do I want to mess with the leaves a little more I don't think so I'm kind of liking maybe I'll add just a bit of this cooler blue into some of these. All right, well, it's not um, super detailed, but it's also not completely abstract. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it. I hope my camera's still running, it is. Well, if you stuck with me through this whole video, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you click like and subscribe, it helps me to share more content. And uh, I'll be back with you at the end of the week with a new video. Have a wonderful day.